Today, you're probably seeing a lot of green and Irish pride today. Of course, it is St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's to you and all our viewers, millions around the world, as well as thousands here in the Bay Area are taking part in celebrations with all the food, music, fun. There's so much to celebrate today. And that's why we have Liam Reedy with us, the president of the United Irish Cultural Center. Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I know it's a busy day for you. You guys have a big event coming up today. Yes, well, we're open today at 12 noon for uh, an absolute um, wide range of Irish music and dancing all today, uh, right up until 10 o'clock tonight. And anyone can come. We're uh, wide open. We're a community centre out in the uh -huh. southwest side of the city, and so everyone's been welcome today to be Irish. Congratulations to Con like Lyons on his elevation. Are all enjoying celebrating the Irish spirit today in the Bay Area. And it's so important to recognize the impact of Irish Americans and Irish immigrants in the Bay Area. Sure, yeah. Um, the Irish have been flooding in here since mm -hmm. uh, the gold rush, and we're about 287,000 strong that claim Irish, Amer uh, Irish American ancestry here in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people. So a lot of reasons to celebrate and obviously a big part of our community as well. I want to pick your brain a little bit about St. Patrick's Day. Okay. I've always wondered why we eat corned beef and cabbage. Sure, I uh, did a little bit of research myself last week, yeah. and it was actually an inexpensive uh, meal for early immigrants. Uh, okay. It went a long way, the potatoes and the corned beef, mm -hmm. and so it's a tradition that holds strong today. So gotcha. we'll have plenty of corned beef at the Irish Centre this afternoon. Is there a good restaurant that you recommend to go to? Uh, my favourite restaurant actually is on West Portal, uh, Victoria's. Okay, and you can hear some of the music too that we'll be hearing today to celebrate. Um, and then also wearing green, is this just an Americanized tradition or has this been going on a long time? Uh, this is absolutely uh, an import into the United States, mm -hmm. but also in Ireland, everybody wears green on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, well obviously today is St. Patrick's Day, a lot of celebrations at your event today happening all day long, but it's going to go into the weekend as well, the fun's not over. That's right, we have a big uh, amateur boxing mm -hmm. event tomorrow night with uh, partnering with Fire in the Ring, Jimmy Ford and all the lads down there and we have a huge team in from Ireland mm -hmm. and then on Sunday evening we have Rune, a Grammy nominated uh, musical group, mm -hmm. uh, bookending the weekend. Gotcha. And then my favorite part of St. Patrick's Day is being able to see all the Irish dancers. And we're going to have that this weekend too, right? Absolutely. Uh, we had about uh, 200 Irish dancers mm -hmm. last weekend perform uh, at the Irish Centre. And we have about 150 planned to come through the Irish Centre today. Gotcha. And then we have some dancers here in studio, right? Yes, we do. All right. So we're going to be looking forward to that uh, in just a couple of minutes, too. So stick around with us. Liam Reedy, thank you so much. President of the United Irish Cultural Center. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And the same to you.